been on the stage with Macy Gray. He's performed for and opened for Stevie Wonder when he was inducted to the Apollo Hall of Fame. His spirit and his energy was so big that when you first see him, you're not really looking at him like, oh, that's a blind kid. You're, like, you're looking at him like, who is that person? Oh, well, you can't see it both ways. He came um, extremely early at 24 weeks, and he was one pound, 11 ounces. Our concern when he was born was just to keep him alive. I'm happy when I go to New York. I think the people in New York are smiling, and they feel happy. And um, they feel more happy when they hear me play my music. <laughs> a stronger music program. Right. He wants a school that has more music. Most of these schools that are public schools, some of them that we have researched do have fairly good academics, but there's no music program. If he doesn't have access to proper music education, he can develop some bad habits from not having someone guide him. When left to your own design, it's really tough to get everything right. Six million school kids in uh, public schools in this country don't have access to arts or music classes. It should be like math, it should be like science, it should be like English. Music should be part of the core curriculum that every kid is going to do when they go to school. There's a sense of urgency that yes, he has this gift, but what do we do with it now to ensure that he's where he needs to be in the future? Right now we just don't know which way to turn or which way to go. I think we just need to keep looking. Mommy's baby's getting, <laughs> it's growing up. I carry all the equipment, the drums, the keyboard, the synthesizer, carry all the stuff around, and mommy gets all the hug. What's up with that? Huh? I don't get no hug. Oh, okay. <laughs>